Hey everyone, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. Today I thought I'd make a video on some new products that I picked up in the past week. This is my birthday window for Midway USA, and if you guys don't know what that is, there's a 14 day window, seven days before and after your birthday. If you have it registered on their site, you get some heavily discounted uh, prices on their site. It's a one-time deal. Uh, you can buy as much or as little as you want, but uh, the savings is significant. So uh, I saved around $110 on products that I bought. So uh, pretty good deal. So I thought I would show you some of the stuff I picked up and also picked up a couple things on eBay I uh, thought might be useful. So uh, I'll uh, spin the camera around and show you some stuff. The first thing I picked up is this Lee uh, press mounting system. It's the quick change system. I thought that would be a pretty good upgrade because I have my computer here and that will allow me to remove the press and just have this bracket here. Before I had this big piece of angle iron, which was very solid and it mounted very well. And I was a little skeptical on how uh, solid this mount would be, but I'm pretty impressed. Uh, these back two bolts go through the top and have big washers on the bottom. This one here is a big lag bolt, and then I actually run out of lag bolts, so these are actually my uh, leftover deck lag bolts. They're three and a half inches, quarter inch. Uh, they held pretty sturdy, but these two go into the two before, and this one actually goes into the leg. But as you can see, it's very solid. So there was another reason I also bought it, is because I upgraded presses. This press is my original press that I started reloading with about six or seven years ago. It's been a very good one. But however, since I've started casting bullets, I've started sizing bullets on this and it's sized five, 6,000 bullets and it's starting to get uh, a little loose. So I figured it's probably time to upgrade presses. We, I still wanna use this press. I'll be uh, doing all my sizing and everything. But to show you how this works, I keep a screwdriver here and we just gotta loosen these up a little bit. You don't have to get them very tight to hold everything in place. Most of the time I'm actually loosening too, we'll slide the press out, but we'll loosen this and it slides out. So this will make this keyboard a lot more uh, accessible. And if I wanted to, I could actually remove these brackets and just have this plate of steel. So here's the new press. It is the Lee Classic Cast. Uh, this has the breech lock bushing update, which I still have some mixed feelings on. The old press has the button that locks the breech lock bushing in, and this does not. So it seems like when you're trying to tighten and loosen your uh, dies, that bushing's just spinning in and out. I wish it was more fixed with the button. Uh, all my dies are pretty much set up with the breech lock bushings uh, for quick change. Um, they've got to be readjusted for this press. It's got a bigger thing. Uh, I've been sizing a bunch of uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, so that's what I've been currently doing with it. But I've been really impressed with the press. It's it's very sturdy. It feels very nice. It's tight. I like that. The uh, primers go straight down the tube into the tube here. It doesn't have the little pocket to the side like the classic uh, Challenger press. But I think this would be a pretty good addition to my reloading room. And the best thing about it is this press currently sells for $200 on Midway USA. I got it for $133, so I couldn't say no to that. Some of the other stuff I picked up was a Lee 45 caliber mold. I got a family member that has a pistol in this caliber, so I thought I'd go ahead and have this mold. It's the 452 200 round flat. Um, picked up some of these bushings. I like these for the Breech Lock Pro press, setting the uh, dies up. These are about my favorite bushings. They're a lot better than the uh, Breech Lock bushings. Picked up a couple powder pans. I have uh, two scales. I kind of jumped back and forth between. I thought I'd have two identical scales. And then I've been wanting one of these. It's a little anvil for the uh, Hornady comparator set that uh, clamps onto your calipers. I've been playing with this a little bit and that's uh, that, that's well worth its weight. It, it's a pretty nice upgrade. It sets the case really flat on it and it's a lot easier to measure. So the next thing I picked up was off of eBay. I've seen, I think Johnny's Reloading Bench has something similar to this and some other YouTube videos. But I thought this was a really neat product and I really started uh, wanting one. But this is a storage rack for your Hornady comparator sets for the uh, the headspace comparators and the bullet comparators. I found this on eBay. There's actually several options of different configurations uh, depending on how many pieces you have. This is considered the large one. It has all your comparator inserts and they're labeled A, B, C, D, E. It's got the most common bullet ones from 22 to 30 caliber. So like I load 223, 2250, 243, 65, and then my 30 calibers, uh, 300 blackout and 308. So it stores all those. This one actually has a place to store shell holders. 
So that's part of the large system. I like that. So I got my uh, shell holders. I got a couple for the Lee priming tool. They don't have the bottoms, but they just sit here. Uh, I thought that's neat. And then it's got some extra places. So you can put your, uh, your little uh, accessories, the little anvil I can just set in here. Uh, I've got a check weight here. Uh, these little uh, primer arms stand up here. One of the adapters for the uh, powder through dies. But I thought this was a really good uh, upgrade for organizing this. Before, it was just in a little plastic uh, tub in my toolbox here. But this has holes to mount it to the wall. If you can, we're in a basement, so I can't. It's got little spots for Allen wrenches even. But I just seen this and thought this would be a, a pretty neat little upgrade for my reloading bench. And then I can just push it up here out of the way. Everything's right in front of me when I need it. It's labeled. But... This, these, uh, I think, are $35. I had some kind of $5 eBay coupon, so getting it for 30 bucks, I thought that was a pretty good deal, so pretty happy with that. So the last product today I want to show you is a little spotting scope mount for a cell phone. Uh, Elvis Ammo done a video the other day kind of showing some of these uh, options off, and uh, I'd been considering kind of make something like this, but these can be bought for $8 to $12 on eBay or Amazon. Uh, I'll show you the box here of uh, this one, what it actually is, and you can uh, search it or find it on your own. I've um, been playing with this a little bit. Um, a lot of times when we're out shooting, uh, we set up the spot and scope because there's two of us, but not even just for recording, but you can just have your camera on and view the, the scope through the phone. So uh, that's what we've been using it for. It's pretty easy to set up. It's pretty universal. This little adapter comes off if your eyepiece is bigger. Uh, this this model fits this scope just fine. It fits the phone just fine. And uh, we'll go out here and I'll hook it up, switch cameras, and then kind of show you how it works. So we're all set up. This is a Simmons 20 by 60 by 60 spotting scope. It's a cheaper Walmart one, but it seems to be a pretty decent one. We've got the mount all adjusted up. Uh, you have to give it just a little bit of eye relief for the phone, but there's plenty of adjustment for that. This is a spring-loaded clamp that clamps your phone. Uh, it pivots to mount your camera over the eyepiece, and it works pretty good. So this is currently setting on 20 power. Uh, the phone is zoomed all the way out. And normal configuration and you can see those swingers at 100 really good um, we can uh, zoom in here with the phone and make them bigger we can also zoom in on the spotting scope the only drawback to this spotting scope is to increase the zoom is it turns so you'll if you want your camera square you'll have to readjust it so uh, I think this would be a pretty good addition. The way we shoot, one shoots, one watches. Uh, you can see bullet impacts 100 yards very easily with this. Um, we can also record if we want to make a video of a target cam. So for uh, 8 to $12, depending on what model you get, it's a pretty good deal. So that's going to pretty much wrap up today's video. Just kind of wanted to show off some of the stuff I picked up, uh, new additions to the reloading room. The only other thing I picked up a couple weeks ago was the NOE 310-135 round nose for the uh, 300 blackout. Uh, kind of got this off Full Lead Taco's video on the uh, evolution of the bunny fart. And uh, this is an excellent 308 bullet. Been playing with it a little bit. Uh, I've just shot it a few times, a couple different outings. And uh, yesterday I played with it with some H110, getting about two inch groups at 100 yards, inch groups at 50. I think we can improve on that. but. Uh, it's showing some promise. So uh, got several of them casted up and coated and ready to go. And that's kind of what I've been playing with. Uh, I had a batch of 6.5 Creedmoor brass. I've been uh, starting to get it processed. Uh, it's 100 rounds and we finally shot the last of them. So it's one of them. We've got to get them clean and annealed and sized and trimmed and everything. I've got half of them done. But uh, kind of been some rainy days. So that's what I've been working on down in here in the reeling room. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one.